What if I told you that Huawei just broke up with Android for good? That's right. Starting 2025, Huawei devices will run their very own Harmony OS Next built from scratch. No Android support, no shared code. This is next-level tech independence. But is it a bold revolution or a risky gamble? Let's find out. Huawei is shaking up the tech world yet again with its most ambitious move yet. At the launch of the Mate 70 series on November 26th, Richard Yu, chairman of Huawei Consumer Business Group, made a groundbreaking announcement. Starting in 2025, every new Huawei smartphone and tablet will exclusively run Harmony OS Next, completely ditching Android. Unlike previous Harmony OS iterations, this isn't just another update. Harmony OS Next is a complete reinvention, built entirely with self-developed technologies. Let's talk specifics. The Harmony kernel is designed to replace Android's Linux base. Pangu AI powers intelligent interactions across the system, and the new key programming language allows for seamless development of Harmony OS native apps. The result? A fully independent native ecosystem untethered from Android. Harmony OS Next doesn't support Android apps. Yep, you heard that right. Huawei is betting big on its own app ecosystem, with plans to fill it with 100,000 Harmony OS compatible apps by 2025. But will that be enough? Huawei's focus on self-reliance comes after years of pressure from US sanctions. This move is about more than just software, it's about securing Huawei's future. According to Eric Xu, Huawei's rotating chairman, the company is pouring massive resources into app development, ensuring its ecosystem can compete with the likes of Google and Apple. Building a fully native ecosystem isn't without its hurdles. Analysts point to some major roadblocks. App availability. Currently, only a limited number of apps are compatible with Harmony OS. Without popular global apps, consumers, especially outside of China, may hesitate to adopt Harmony OS Next devices. Developer reluctance. Foreign developers are wary of joining the Harmony OS ecosystem due to high development costs and limited financial incentives compared to Android and iOS. Global rollout. While Harmony OS Next may thrive in Huawei's home market of China, expanding globally will require significant effort to attract developers and users. Despite the challenges, analysts see potential in Huawei's bold strategy. For now, the company is laser-focused on solidifying its ecosystem in China. According to Will Wong from IDC Asia Pacific, once Huawei overcomes this initial phase, Harmony OS Next could expand beyond China and potentially rival Google's dominance in mobile operating systems. 2025 will be a pivotal year for Huawei. By fully embracing Harmony OS Next, Huawei is charting its own course in the tech world. While this decision might alienate some users at first, it's a necessary step toward achieving true independence. What do you think about Huawei's decision to ditch Android? Will Harmony OS Next reshape the mobile landscape, or is it a gamble too big to handle? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting updates on the latest tech trends. Stay tuned!